I know a shortcut. I sure hope Ranger King got our message. Speak of the Tasmanian Devil. I thought you said this was a shortcut. It is. Whoa! Time, mate. You took your time. The little country town of Currawong is under attack. What muck would want to do this? The local security is in the thick of it. One of their mates has holed up at the old barracks. Oh, this is a shocker out there. Frills have breached the Northern River. Sly, Shazza, I'm going to need your help. You can count on us. If we follow this road, it'll take us up to the old barracks. OK, let's go. Ty, mate, what are you doing? It's bedlam out there. Last of the frills, Possum. The fire's out. Let's go. Not too far to the old barracks now. Possum, we have to get to the other side of the bridge. See that battle bunya? Maybe you can use it to clear the debris blocking the path. Keep moving. The old barracks are just ahead of you. Come on, Possum! We have to make it to the old barracks! 
Not far to go now. I'm here to help you, mate. Don't worry about me. <coughs> There's a battle mortar in the old barracks. It's the only thing that can defend the ground troops from those demon fluffies. I'm there. <coughs> you little beauty! Ships are on to you! Taking care of those demon fluffies, possum. Shh. 
shivers. Fluffy, that gate leads to the old jail. Where Boss Cass has been held prisoner. It's been a diversion for a jailbreak. Not if I can help it. I'll take care of it, Shaz. Hey, you! Well, well, well. The little orange rat has come out to play. I know what you're up to and you're not going to get away with it. Whatever. You're hanging around like a bad smell. Hold it right there! Hey, Fluffy! You still here, rat boy? I'm not gonna let you break cash free! Oh, yeah? You and whose army? I don't need an army. I think you're going to now. Boys, enjoy your meal. Hi, mate. Do you need a hand? Thanks, mate. I thought I was a goner. I'm free! 
Not if I can help it. As usual, Ty, your pathetic friends have gotten in your way. Toodles, Ty. So long, loser. <laughs> Ty, what happened? Cass got away. You did the best you could, Possum. Yeah, mate. If it wasn't for you, I would have been dead meat. I could have done better. Next time, I'll be ready. And it is with great pride that I cut this ribbon and officially declare open Baramaji Bush Rescue. It's a state-of-the-art facility with an observation tower, research lab, airstrip, and advanced headquarters. That's you, Possum! Good on you, mate. Dennis, you won't regret this. With Bush Rescue, we're ready to take on Boss Kess the next time he strikes. Well, it's not going to be that easy. Easy, I'm afraid. Why not? I've just got word that Cass has set up his own country just so he can have diplomatic immunity. You mean it's an immunity community? That stinker! Diplomatic whaty? As the newly elected president of Cassopolis, Boss Cass, and his Diplomats are above the law as long as they're here on official Cassopolis business. They can double park, open other people's mail and leave the milk out. And Sergeant Bluey can't touch him. Which is why it's important for us to find out what his plans are and catch him in the act. <sighs> well, there's no time to stand around gas bagging. We've got work to do. The local council has been complaining about crocodiles in the sewers, mate. Go see Ranger Ken to sort it out.
crikey! You're a frill lizard. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm working, mate. Not all lizards are bad, you know. Fair enough. My name's Sneath, and me mate over there is Keith. Good day. I'm the cook, and he's the mechanic. Although we sometimes swap jobs. Either way, I'm usually up to me elbows in grease. Uh, righto. I also take care of the bush rescue training program. If you want to scrub up on your rescue skills, just meet me over at that sign. Righto, mate. First thing you need to know is how to get a better look around the place. You can do that by using the right stick. Just push it left or right to spin the camera around. And you can move the camera distance in and out by pressing up and down on the directional buttons. Mate, did you know that you can tailor the camera to your liking? You can change this through the options menu. They got that feature in already? I remember the 1960 games where a single flustered cameraman on a unicycle covered the whole event. If you haven't worked it out already, mate, you can use those legs of yours to jump. It's easy, really. Press the jump button to get some air. Just like Jess the Jumping Joey from Jabaluka. Before you had your ranks, mate, you had a set of pearly white choppers. Yep, and in your case, you've got a good set of teeth on you. Just like Starkey the snub-nosed shark from Strathpine. Here's how you can use them to bite things. Just press the bite button when you're near crates or bad guys. Fair enough. And, as luck would have it, we've got some crates right here. Why don't you have a go at biting them? Here's a skill that should come in handy. See these floating thingamajigs? They're called spy eggs. Anyways, if you press the bite button repeatedly, you can chain your bites together. Just like Billy the chain biting Bilby from Bruna. Righto. The beauty is, you can chain bite your way up to hard to reach places. Why don't you give it a go? Did you know that you can use those two rings of yours as makeshift wings? That's right, you can hold them out and use them to glide across wide gaps. All you have to do is press the jump button, and when you're in the air, press and hold the jump button again. And you glide through the sky like Glenn the Gliding Goose from Glen Iris. Well, looky here, some water, just like a big bath. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you, Keith? Steady on there, mate. Anyway, it's time. We'll teach you how to swim in the water. It's easy, really. When you're in the drink, press the bite button to dive, then tap the jump button to start swimming. You can swim all right, mate. Time to learn how to dive. All you have to do is run and press the jump button near the water's edge. Then press the bite button to do a dive. 
I reckon you'll take to it like Dave the Diving Duck from Darwin. There are some places that are too high to jump up. In some of these places, you might find a bunch of vines, or even a ladder. Like this one here. Anyways, just walk into them to start climbing. Easy, eh? If you want to get off, just press the jump button. I reckon you'll be as good a climber as Matt the Mountaineering Magpie. He's from Marichidor. See that target way up there? If you hold down Ty's view button, you'll get a rings eye view of the place. You can throw your rings with greater accuracy this way. Why don't you give it a go now? Careful, mate. There's a big drop just ahead. You know how we taught you to glide across gaps, right? Well, if you ever jump off a cliff, you can reach the bottom safely by gliding. Yeah, mate, go on. Jump off this cliff and give it a go. Here's something you might find useful when you're up against Cass's goons. What's that? It's the ability to lock onto a bad guy and always hit him with your rings. When you see a bad guy, press the lock on button. While you hold the button down, you'll always face your foe. When you throw your ring, it'll head right for him no matter which way you're running. Have a go on this fella here. See these rails? Well, if you jump up on them, you can start grinding. It's a great way to get around the place. Why don't you give it a burl? Well done, mate. You've learnt just about every bush rescue trick in the book. I've got an interesting job for you, mate. Julius needs you at the Gunner Gunner training grounds to test his latest invention.
Good day, son. Glad you can make it into me shop. I've got some butte boomerangs for sale today. Uh, choose carefully, though. We have a no returns policy. <laughs> Come on, Ty. There must be something you want. That's a ripper of a rang, son. That saves me getting one for your birthday, son. <laughs> Get a move on, son. Bye, son. Try the bob's the name, trading's the game. As long as you try the opals. <laughs> Let me know if you see anything you like. Look, Charlie Reese, born 423, 2004. Ripper! Good day, Ty. Good day, Ty. Greetings, Thai unit. Hello, toy. Hello. Hello, toy. I just transferred here from Gunna Gunna Hospital. I can't wait to help all the locals.
Greetings, Thai unit. Hello, Toy. Hello. Good day, Toy. Hello. Hello, Toy. Toy. Ooh, I am Polly. You are Toy. I am the reigning cart racing champion. I pity the fool who tries to beat me. Good night, Toy. Hello there, Ty. Hello, Toy. It was amazing, I tell you. <laughs> you ain't seen anything like it. No siree. Uh, a giant uh, razorback pig. At least 20. Uh, no, no, make that 100 feet tall. And Ty, he was all like, Yahoo! And he was jumping all over the place. <laughs> And the Razorback was trying to squash him, but Ty stood his ground. The Razorback powered toward Ty, steam coming out of his nose, sparks shooting from his hooves, fire coming out of his, uh, his ears. And then, without warning, Ty jumped out of the way, and the Razorback slammed into a termite mound. 
Not just any termite mound, though. Uh, this one was full of a, the, the rare and dangerous killer African mighty bitey ants. They swarmed all over the Razorback, distracting him long enough for Ty to save the village full of orphans. <sighs> it was an amazing sight. Hello, Ty. This is so humiliating, and hot, and I think this suit is full of fleas, but I need the money. I am monitored to respond to the name Psy512.
the last of the frills, Possum. The fire's out. Let's go. Let me at him. Not too far to the old barracks now. We have to get to the other side of the bridge. See the Keep moving. The old barracks are just ahead of me. Come on, Possum! We have to make it to the old barracks! Not far to go now! <laughs>
G'day, son. Let me know if you need a hand, OK? You won't regret buying that one, son. Bye, son. Hello, Ty. Good day, Ty. Hello, Ty. Hey, Ty. Good day, young Ty. Hello, Toy. Hey, hey, Toy.
Hello, Toy. Hello, Ty. Good day, son. Let me know if you need a hand, okay? That's a ripper of a rang, son. Bye, son. Hello, Toy.
Hello, Toy. Greetings, Thai unit. Greetings, Thai unit. Good eye, Toy. Yikes! Oh my goodness, you startled me! <laughs> Sorry, mate! Hey, you're Dennis's nephew, aren't you? Why, yes I am! People call me Clarence. So, what are you doing all the way up here by yourself, Clary? I'm on a dare to enter the grounds of Gruesome Bottom Manor. The famous Baramaji Haunted Mansion. Haunted? You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Of course I do! Some of my best friends are ghosts. Really mean and won't let me in. Tell you what, mate. I'll go and see if I can sort them out for you. Would you? Thanks a lot, Ty. that you got rid of that pretend poltergeist. He didn't stand a ghost of a chance against you. <laughs> Sorry.
G'day, Bernie. What you doing? Nothing. You miss your mum, don't you? Sometimes. It's okay, mate. Your dad's worried sick about you. How about we get you home before it gets too late? Okay. I just got off the blower from Lake Baramudgee Refinery. They've got a load of unstable dynamite that needs disposal. And guess what? They want you to do it. G'day, mate. Now, we have it on good authority that a spy is feeding information back to Cass, allowing him to cause trouble around town. Yes, to avoid detection, this bounder is using a disguisatron. Didn't you invent that, Julius? Yes, but that evil Cass has started producing cheap imitations in one of the many sweatshops in Cassapolis. You'll need the infrarang or X-rang in order to see through their disguise. When you're armed with the right ring, the spy should stand out like a sore thumb. Good luck, mate. Hello there, Ty. I've been flat out working at the Burramudgee Hospital. I need a break. Hello there, Ty. Hello there, Ty. Greetings, Ty unit. Hello, Ty. Good work, mate. You caught the spy red-handed. We'll be taking this fellow in for questioning. Hopefully we'll get some inside info on what Cass has been up to. G'day, son. Let me know if you need a hand, OK? You won't regret buying that one, son. Bye, son. G'day, Toy. Congratulations on a job well done, mate. Once we interrogate that spy, we might learn more about Cass's plans. G'day, Ty. The Boromudgy sewer workers have been complaining about crocs in the sewers. Now, I'd go down there and check it out myself, but I've, uh, got other pressing matters to take care of. Would you take care of it for me, mate? Sounds like a dirty job. Ah, oh, but I'll give it a go. You little beauty.
filter down, little orange dinosaur. You're not one of them, are you? No, you're too small and fuzzy. Say, I've got some goo goo juice. Do you want some? Ah, you don't look old enough. Tell you what, I do have something you might like. I found them while digging up some goo goo berries. You can have them. You did a great job of clearing the sewers of all those crocs, mate. Mate, there's a bunch of Hollywood types at Min Min Plains making a film. But it looks like Cass has sent a welcoming party to shake things up. When you get a chance, go get rid of Cass's hoons. Good day, Ken. What you doing? I'm helping out Julius, mate. Apparently that spy you caught wasn't working alone. Fair dinkum. That's right, mate. 
Looks like there's a whole mob of Kess's cronies with them Disguisertron thingamajigs. Struth! They could be anywhere, mate. Not just in town, but all over the southern rivers. I've got Burramudgy covered, but if you could check out all the outskirts, I'd appreciate it. No worries, mate. I'll see what I can do. Greetings, Thai unit. <laughs> Remember to stop, look, listen and smell before you cross the road.
Hello, Ty. It was amazing, I tell you. <laughs> you ain't seen anything like it. No siree. Uh, a giant uh, razorback. There's a place in the deepest, darkest outback that I swore never to tell anyone about. Ever. It's a, a dangerous, treacherous place full of bad, bad things. No one, except yours truly, <laughs> has ever escaped and lived to tell the tale. But I like you kids, so today's your lucky day. It all started when I was doing a stint of door-to-door -door salesmanship, huh? selling special left-handed toupees for people who come to the right, in case you're wondering. Now, uh, where was I? <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the world's largest fake crocodile? Yeah, I, I happened across it when I was passing through Dusty Burrows last year. <laughs> it, it made from paper mache and pieces of old gumboots it is. It looks amazing. You have to check it out. You really do. I broke the land speed record just the other day. Uh-huh. Did I tell you? Oh, and I didn't use a car. No way. I ran it. Woohoo! <laughs> and was I going fast? It's a little trick I learned during my years as a door-to-door -door salesman in the Tibetan Highlands. That's a tough job, too, because... They don't have any doors. They don't even have windows. In fact, they live in giant mushrooms and, and, and eat tofu all day. So anyways, uh, back to the world record that I broke. <laughs> what was it again? Oh, yeah. The Kurawong Pie Eating Contest. Well, I chomped my way through uh, 672 pies, I did. <laughs> and you know what I won? A dozen hot apple pies. No lies, it's the truth. <laughs> Ain't it ironic? A any of you kids know much about our beautiful native animals? Nope, <laughs> I didn't think so. Well, let your old Uncle Lenny educate you in the ways of the Aussie bush. Okay, first up, the humble elephant isn't actually a, a native Australian animal. <laughs> Uh-uh, no way, <laughs> not at all. The elephant is actually from uh, New Zealand. Yeah, uh, they're part of a special breeding program that crossed a Tasmanian aardvark with a uh, Swedish hippopotamus. No word of a lie, it's the truth. They ended up in Australia in the 12th century when traveling Italian merchants uh, brought them over to trade for silk with the local koala population. Mm-hmm, since then, They've been a fixture of our great Aussie bush. You know what a platypus is, right? Well, get this. I always thought a platypus was a cross between a duck and a beaver. But guess what? It ain't. They are actually web-footed mammals that lay eggs. <laughs> How's that for weird, huh? <laughs> it's totally true. Cross my heart and hope to die. And get this. They use electricity to see underwater. <laughs> yeah, sort of like sonar, but different. The other crazy thing is that the males have a poison spur above their hind leg. Wow. Get stung by one of these and you are in deep trouble, I'll tell you. Ouch. So if you ever see a platypus, treat it with respect, okay? I remember one time I was helping my old buddy Ty on a secret mission. We were sneaking into one of Boss Cass's bases when we were surrounded by a gang of uh, uh, sharkodiles. <laughs> What's a sharkodile, you ask? Well, they're, uh, oh, they're big, ugly critters like crocodiles, but with a huge fin on their backs and really bad breath. Woohoo! Oh, oh, and, and they have rows and rows of sharp, pointy teeth. Yeah, and they like to bite things. Woohoo! Yeah, anyways, Ty and me were surrounded, and these sharkodiles were looking mighty hungry. Well, I thought we were goners until I had a brilliant idea. An idea so incredible that it saved not only my life, but the life of Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. You see, 
Sometimes I... Well, I have so many ideas that I occasionally lose my train of thought. <laughs> but not this day. No way. I was switched on, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. The Burramudgee Talent Show. Yeah, so I won the grand prize by singing a song I composed all by myself. <laughs> I beat out everyone else, and then they wanted to give me second and third place too, but I insisted they give those to the runners-up. Woohoo! Do I have a story to tell you? <laughs> a real doozy of a story it is, and it's 100% true. Yeah, except for the bits I made up. Uh, they're mostly true, too. Uh, just made up to protect the innocent, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, I was working with Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. A real covert job, it was. We were out to stop Boss Cass from getting all the mystic talismans and, and using their awesome power in the pursuit of evil. Cass had us trapped on his giant robot, and it looked like it was the end for us. I was trying to calm Ty down, y you know, stop him from blubbering like a baby, if you know what I mean, when I had an amazing idea. I used some old uh, 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 rubber bands, a length of sticky tape, and some pre-loved bamboo to make a doomerang. Using my incredible boomerang throwing skills, I managed to, to lob it at Cass, knocking him unconscious and saving the day. Ha <laughs> ha, I was a hero, I was. Yeah, uh, they... Uh, they even named a day after me. Tuesday, in fact. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Did you know that um, uh, it, it, koala bears aren't actually bears at all? No way! You know what they are? Uh, that's right! They're a type of tree-dwelling monkey that lives on uh, uh, gum leaves and corn chips. Woohoo! Amazing stuff! And it's all true. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, uh, Hetty Gruesomebottom, an amateur monsterologist and an award winning flower arranger, invented the first koala in 1937. Uh, she used to sell them from a corner store right here in Burramudgee. <laughs> and, and, and you know what else? Uh, I, I have no idea where I am right now. Uh, oh, is that the time already? I have to take medication. Did you know that um, the color yellow is in fact a shade of blue? <laughs> it's all true. My Uncle Benny, who works at Dusty Burroughs University in the color department, knows a guy who has a friend who knows these things. <laughs> well, apparently the person who originally classified yellow was colorblind. Can you believe it? He also reckons that the color red is heavier than the color yellow. And that the color orange isn't really a color, but is in fact a fruit. <laughs> I don't know, but just thinking about it makes my head hurt. You may be wondering how I know so much, right? Well, uh, the answer is simple, really. I'm actually a genius! Woohoo! <laughs> it's true! You know the letter I... Well, I invented that. Uh-huh. And the full stop. Oh, I've invented heaps of stuff. I am so prolific, it scares me. In fact, I even invented the word prolific. No word of a lie. It's all true. I have a photographic memory, too. It's incredible. Of course, sometimes I forget to load the film. <laughs> but that's another story. But, uh, you know what my favorite two inventions are? Okay, the holes in Swiss cheese, uh, the number 72, and the uh, rhubarb-flavored ice cubes. Ha <laughs> ha! All my ideas, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Hey, Ty, need a ride? Just press the action button when you want to get in. Thanks, Jez.
Under attack from ninja billies. It's a big idea, man. You just clobbered all our extras. Huh? Why, well, this here's a movie set, you silly boy. We're Beryl. And Squeaver. We are the biggest stars in Hollywood. And we're making a movie down under. Uh, sorry about that. I thought you were under attack. Attack? Those ninjas are expensive stuntmen. Now we're behind schedule! Get off my set! Go on, get! Mate, Lake Baramudgee Refinery is still waiting for you to unload that dodgy dynamite.
I need you to test out the combat effectiveness of my latest invention. No worries.
I declare this training ground a success. <laughs> Stone the crows, mate. Something big and scary has been seen around Steel Springs. It's given the locals the heebie-jeebies, and they want you to check it out right now. Sounds like Boss Cass is doing, so be careful.
It's you again, you funny little lizard guy. How did you find me? Never mind. As long as they didn't follow you. They didn't follow you, did they? That's good. Can't be too careful. Look what I've been collecting. I found them lying all around the place. I don't need them. So they're all yours.
I'm Chockers and I have the best kart racing tracks in town. But if you want to race, then you're going to have to show me the opals. See ya, bud.
Yossi, Yossi, Yossi! Oi, oi, oi! Yossi, Yossi, Yossi! Oi, oi, oi! Yossi, Yossi, Yossi! Oi, oi, oi! Truth, you actually turned up! Okay, the dynamite is too unstable to keep close by, so we need you to fly down Danger Gully, pick them up, then take them to the disposal area at Deadly Peak. Well, good luck finding a pilot! See ya! <laughs> Seriously, trust me, you don't want to hit anything out there. Good luck! No worries!
Great flying there, mate. Now we know who to call next time we have another ridiculously dangerous job to do. Thanks. Uh, I think... Ty, mate, you have to get over to Steel Springs right away. There's something big and scary menacing the locals. This one's a top priority, mate. G'day, son. Let me know if you need a hand, okay? You won't regret buying that one, son. Good choice, son. Good choice, son. Bye, son. Come back, mate. Just give me a yell if you need a hand. Bye bye. Come back, mate. Just give me a yell if you need a hand. 
Good boy, that one. Bye bye. Hello, Pie. Day, Ty. Hello, toy. You again. So you're ready to race carts? See ya, bud.
Yossi, Yossi, Yossi! Oi, oi, oi! Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite Tasmanian tiger. Fluffy! I should have known I'd find you here. You're always terrorizing somebody. A girl's gotta earn a living. When are you gonna give it up? You know you can do better than Cass. You really think so? I know so. He's mean, arrogant, selfish, conceited, and a bully. Yeah, but the money's good. Sick and patchy. Orange rat get you down. I certainly didn't expect that to happen. Well played, Rat. You won this one. 
But next time, you won't be so lucky. Good work, Ty. You stopped Fluffy and Cass from terrorising the kind folk of Steel Springs. That bird brain Cass will stop it nothing to hinder us. Oi, watch who you call a bird brain, fur face. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure he meant it as a compliment. Boss Cass has such a large cranium, it's obviously a sign of great intelligence. <clears throat> oh, good save there, Dennis. Now that that's out of the way, I've got some more jobs for you, mate. No worries! Ah, oh, Fluffy, you're back. Did you get it? It wasn't easy, but here it is. It's smaller than I imagined. Mmm, you have the grid processor. Very good. Ah, Professor Carlos, I got what you wanted. Now, can I see a demonstration of the machine? Hmm, it is feasible. Activate the machine! Ouch, that's gotta hurt. What just happened? It appears that I still need one more component. Whatever you need, get it. I want the machine fully operational as soon as possible. And then I will have the power to rule not just Cassopolis, but the entire world. <laughs> Ah, Bruno's gotten himself into a pickle. He went climbing in Frillneck Forest but got stuck. Now he needs a helping hand.
Hello, Ty. Good eye, Ty. Hello, Ty.
Bones. Hey there, Ty. Hello there, Tom. Welcome back, Mike. Just give me a yell if you need a hand. You've done well, Mike. Bye-bye! Hey, hey, Ty! Oh, uh, uh. 